Hello everyone, I'd like to uh, first thank everyone who came to the Lagua Omer Barbecue this past week and I'd especially like to thank all the schools who worked together with us. It was a really special display of the unity that we have in the Jewish community of Sharon celebrating Lagba Omer with 300 people and I'd like to thank all of those who participated. This week on Shabbat we're going to read the Parsha of Bamidbar which is referred to as the Book of Numbers. And presumably that's because it opens with Moshe Rabbeinu counting the Jewish people. And what's interesting to note is that the tribe of Levi, Levi is counted in a, in a unique way. They're not counted in the same count with the rest of the Jewish people, but they're counted separately. Not only that, but the rest of the Jewish people were counted from age 20 and up. The age where they, are, where they became suitable to work in the military. But the tribe of Levi was counted from one month, 30 days old. And they would have been counted even earlier. But that's the time where they, there's no longer a doubt about their viability. And the question is, why is the tribe of Levi unique? Why are they counted from 30 days old? And I heard, read a beautiful answer. Powerful lesson. From Rabbi Mordechai Kamenetsky. And he explains to us that the reason that Shevet Levi, the tribe of Levi, were counted in a unique way is because they were unique. How were they unique? They were the teachers and the mentors of the Jewish people. And they were counted in that vein. Because they were the teachers and the mentors, they were counted from age 30. From, I'm sorry, from 30 days and older. Because the Torah wants to teach us a powerful lesson. If you want someone to be your teacher, they don't have to have an official name of rabbi before their name. They don't have to be above 20. They don't even have to be above bar or bat mitzvah. You can learn lessons about life from anyone, even an infant. We should always strive to learn from all those around us. Learn a piece of wisdom about life. Recently I was teaching and uh, a nine-year-old boy earned, earned some chocolate during the program. And after the program, I saw that he went and he took some of his chocolate and he handed it to a four-year-old boy. And I commented, I said, wow, I'm so proud of you, you shared your chocolate, that's so beautiful. And he said to me, well, whenever I get something, I always like to share it. And I learned the lesson from him. And it's not enough to share with others that's definitely something which is commendable. It shouldn't be just, it should just be an obligation. We should tr strive to take pleasure in sharing our things with others. And if we're mindful, we could actually derive pleasure from sharing what we have with others. And that's a lesson that I learned from this point. And Sheva Levi and the Torah, and how, they how Sheva Levi is counted, is teaching us this powerful lesson that we should always strive to learn from all of those around us, even from young children. Have a wonderful Shabbos.